Brittany Huelas Bruskiewicz, École des Pionniers de Maillardville, Port Coquitlam, British Columbia. Opus 75, Sistina in B flat for the Glockenspiel by Adam Saul. In the empty classroom at sunrise, a girl sits on the floor staring at a glockenspiel. She's shredding the cuticles on her left hand instead of starting to practice. She doesn't want to play, not yet, if ever. The irritating sound of her teeth clicking is the only sound in the band room. The cranky girl has been dropped off early so she can play a bit alone on the glockenspiel before her classmates come to practice. Instrument cases clutched in their chapped hands like luggage. They have such sure hands, she thinks and she can hear the sounds they make, the laughter in the practice rooms that make her feel like a little girl. She is a late bloomer, and like the glockenspiel, she is awkward at the games they play. Only, it isn't really play, is it? It's life. The boys put their hands on the girls who vibrate like glockenspiels with tinkling notes that sound shrill and artificial to the girl. But isn't this how it's always been practiced? And wouldn't she appreciate it more if she practiced? The ones who are good at it think of it as play. That's what they think it means to be a girl. But that's not me. I have ugly hands. I don't know how to make the giggly sounds they expect from me, except on the glockenspiel. And what's the point of a glockenspiel if I can't even concentrate and practice? For some, it's music. For others, only sounds. Now here come my bandmates, ready to play. And all I've done is chew my hands into bleeding mallets. I'm more stick than girl. Practice begins, and it's time for the girl to hoist her glockenspiel and exercise her hands. Her imperfect self is on display. How does she sound? <laughs> 